would like to ask, have you asked questions to us? So ask anything, anything at all. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so do you not have carbon loans? Is that, you say you don't have Chris? Uh, well, what's, I mean, there's bones, but they're, they're not really, no, I guess not, right? They're, uh, they had a V cut into the little bit of radius that they have, and they picked their hand up because their hand was down 90 degrees, and they put it in there and they fused it. They have literally no wrist rotation at all. And I didn't even realize to the full extent how much that impacted our lives till in my book I followed them around with a tape recorder and had them show me how they do things and describe things so I could describe it in the book. And it was a real eye-opener for me. And that was only a year ago. It was, it really does make a difference if you don't have wrist rotation. And how's the dexterity? Um, it, you know, for me, it, it's, it's fairly good. Um, on my left hand, there's, this finger doesn't straighten there as much as the others. They don't all straighten anyway, which actually is what makes it kind of hard to get into my pocket and stuff. But so the articulation for me is 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 okay um, to a certain extent. You know, uh, Heather has a little bit more difficulty here. Let's, Okay. Is this on? Is this on? Yeah. It says on <laughs> Okay. I'll, I'll have them both. How's that? What are you doing? Okay. Is this on? No. Carol. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, I, <laughs> I can write, but I prefer, I try to avoid writing as much as possible because it seems like the older I get, the harder it is for me to write. It's like my hands cramp up. Um, and I can type really fast on the computer. I can type up to 60 words a minute. But if I have to look at something while I'm typing, then it's a lot slower, like 40. Um, and I have to adjust. Uh, when I pick up cups, I have to use both hands every single time. I have to grab it with my left hand and put it in my right hand and then raise my right hand to my mouth. So I don't have a lot of ways of grabbing things. Mostly it's just pinching kind of movement. Yeah, the it, it's kind of different the way that we have to use our opposable thumb uh, with our knuckle instead of doing this action. This is very, very, very weak. So, yeah, so that's why we use this instead to do a lot of things, to hold plates and, and whatever, whatever. Uh, it's just easier to do it that way, although it does cause pain uh, having to do that. And then for me, when I paint a lot, uh, I get really bad pain right in here uh, just because of the the way I have to hold the brush or, or, or write, you know, for a long period of time. And you can imagine their shoulders yeah. are used like a wrist, so you can imagine how you'd start getting some shoulder trouble and some back trouble after a while. It's, it's almost like uh, I feel like I'm in a circus every time I have to carry a glass and a plate at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yes? I know that every mother kind of has to have that experience of protecting her children. And when these two were in school, and, and if you two don't mind kind of chiming in too, what kind of difficulties did you face when your kids are coming home from school? Were there bullies? Were there instances of harassment or people being rude? Well, Heather, because of her autism, although we didn't know she had autism until about six years ago, but I, I had this sense that she lived in a protective bubble. She was very unaware of things that were going on around her, especially people. She didn't know people were staring. She didn't, you know, and the kids just left Heather alone. 
And that was, that made it a lot easier. Logan, however, from a very young age, a very strong awareness of looking different and hating it. So Logan had some experiences that he can well, share. Well, you know, it's, it's interesting. Do I need a mic? One of them? Is this one? Is this one? Oh, Together? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's ridiculous. One's for a video and one's for a mic. All right, well, okay. Um, you know, I, I don't even remember a whole lot of specific... Is this is it working, right? I think it's working. Is it? Yeah. It just doesn't sound right. This is getting very ridiculous. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, I, I, I don't remember a whole lot of specific... Um, Uh, problems uh, as a kid. Uh, I, I, I know that I was alone a lot on the playground and I did get teased and obviously stared at and I sat at the lunch table a lot by myself. Um, emptying the trays was hard. But, but you know, bullying actually didn't start till junior high for me. Um, I, I got real bad. Uh, I had a couple of specific bullies that were just awful. Um, I don't know that I brought it home though to mom. I, I, I don't remember telling her that I had any issues. He but, didn't. But, right. But, well, because according to me and to everyone around me, I made it, well, everybody I made around me believed that I don't have any problems. He was in denial. So, I kind of dealt with all that myself. Yeah. So it was hard for me to see them suffer in the ways that they did. But like Heather tells me a lot, I, I focused on what they could do. I focused on the good stuff in life. And that's how I learned to accept things that I can change. And that's what they do too. Um, one more question. Um, your mom talked a little bit about your interactions with physicians, but Heather and Logan, can you talk um, about maybe some of your interactions and things that you liked that physicians did as well as things that you would change? Um, can you give an example of what you liked interacting with doctors or what you would change? Let's see. Um, one thing that I really didn't like when I went to see the eye doctor, after he did all the checking, he grabbed some tweezers and decided to pluck some little hair right next to my eye, and without even telling me any of this, like, what are you doing? <laughs> Luckily, I remembered, oh yeah, he's an eye surgeon, so he's not going to poke my eye out. <laughs> so that was kind of uncomfortable. Uh, something that I did like, uh, that I love, is when doctors take the time to let me have questions. That is very important to me that I get to discuss all the details that I need to discuss with him about each of my treatments. Um, don't make fun of your patients. That's probably a big thing too. Well, I, you know, I, 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 had, a, I had an experience. Uh, I, I was a teenager, uh, saw a new doctor and you know, one of the first things she said was, cartoons have four fingers too. And of course, I'm just like livid. Uh, you know, why would you, I mean, I understand why you would say that to try and make things a little more jovial, I suppose. But uh, anyway, don't, I mean, you don't want to assume everybody has a sense of humor about it, but you also want to be able to have a sense of humor about it. Um, I, there is a fine line, and, and as well as there, the fine line between a patient-doctor relationship. Between they need to be a doctor and not a person sometimes, but they need to be people, and we're not just, you know, lab rats either. So yeah, there is a fine line. It's a very fine line. But I think open communication, uh, as with any relationship, that that that's the key. It's to be as open and honest as possible. Uh, with each other. That's great. 
really quickly now, I just uh, went with Logan to the um, oh, neuro guy. Neuro behavior. What? <laughs> the neuro guy. Yes. About a year and a half ago. And, and his resident came in and did, uh, questioned Logan extensively. And then the doctor came in and jumped up on the examination table. Logan was sitting on a chair. And he had his resident read the notes back and looked to Logan to approve what the resident had gotten in information. And then he just looked at Logan and he said, what's your take on it, Logan? And I just loved that because he really did respect right away, immediately, that Logan just may have had a few thoughts about what the situation was. And Logan said, well, I think the side effects from the medicine because he was having twitches. And the doctor said, I agree. I think that's what it is too. So it was just a great experience. Yeah, you know, that, that brings up something real fast. Um, you know, talk to the patient, not to the patient's family. Um, better with them, regardless of the situation. I mean, obviously, there, there are times where you have to walk, talk to the family, but talk to the patient first. All right, well, it's time to end our little talk. Thank yeah. you so much.